Okay, so here we have to take a look at this Adorox gimbal and camera protector for the DJI Mavic. And the Mavic itself, it comes with two pieces to do the same thing. That, and then this. Now, this is okay, and some people fly with it, but I don't recommend that. I would want to keep this vent open, so if you want to have a little something, I would get one of these little hoods on, but that's a whole other story. But these little guys, it's really kind of finicky to put them back in, and you really want to have protection for this while in transit. So I was hoping someone would come up with a solution, and here is one. It cost about 10 bucks, and it fits in with these, use a pen here to show you, these two slots fit in to either side of here. Hopefully you can see that's very tiny. So the key is though, you really wanna make sure it goes in correctly. And what I found is if you just tilt a little farther forward, that'll help tremendously because you wanna get these clips in and then the back clip in just like the original. So you just make sure that slots in and if it's already facing forward, it kinda just goes in no problem. And I don't know if you can see in there, but it's quite nice and steady. The one nitpick I would have in terms of putting, taking it on and off is that this clip is a little smaller and maybe if you have stubby fingers and no fingernails, maybe you'll have an issue there. But otherwise, I like it. The one thing I did though is, if this thing will focus, I shaved these down a bit to be shorter because I noticed they were really pressing up against the bottom back of this over here. I know it's very small, you probably can't see what I'm referring to there, but I shaved them down by maybe a millimeter, millimeter and a half, and that tiny bit was good enough to get it so it looks like it's sitting a little bit more comfortably, but who knows, maybe that wasn't even necessary at all, but I like to nitpick things. So I'm gonna set it up again, just so you can see it from a couple different angles. As you can see, we got these two guys here. They are gonna go into that little slot right there on either side of the top of that little bridge. So it's facing forward, it's super easy because you can have these notches go in pretty much at the same time. And it's in there. As you can see, those are the two notches going right between and it's really holding it nice and steady. Now, of course, you need to take this off. You would not want to fly with this like you could with this because, of course, it's holding the gimbal in place, so it's ever more important to make sure you remove this for when you go on and flying. And just to give you a quick look at this, because I'm sure some people will ask, this is just a, uh, a lens hood, which, you know, has its ups and downs, but if you want some sort of sun flare protection, this is the kind of thing you'd want to get, although, you know, that's a whole other product, so. There it is, it's in, happy flying.